outspoken MP for Tobago West to his current incarnation as founder of the Tobago Community College, Dr. Winston Murray has always been a messenger, a messenger of history and hope for the future for the people of Tobago. Born on November 29, 1933 in Capleton, Tobago, Murray's humble beginnings in a tiny rural village would prove no obstacle to the determination of the man to seek justice and equity for the citizens of his beloved isle. He is, after all, a man for the people of Tobago, and despite his extensive education abroad, never forgot his roots and his devotion to country. As a child growing up in Canaan, I remember Dr. Murray. Normally, he would be hustling out the road, short pants, slippers on his feet, and um, he'd be going for newspapers because, uh, well, you would be running up and down the street as a child. And uh, you wouldn't see him going slowly. He always went at a pace. Or another time you would see him well-dressed with his bag on his shoulder and he's going somewhere. Those are the first memories I have of him. He's a man before his time in many ways. Because in the 70s, I think it was, Dr. Murray planted a flag of Tobago down at Pigeon Point. And people said, this is a madman. Today, Tobago is talking the talk of federalism, which sees a Tobago equal in status to Trinidad. As the, the, the national anthem says, side by side we stand, not one behind the other. Being the son of a cocoa plantation farm worker and having worked on the farms himself as a youth left an indelible impression on the young Murray's mind. These early experiences with the vestiges of colonialism provided the spark he needed to educate himself and eventually devote his life to the betterment of Tobago and its people. Dr. Murray, in his actions and, his, and in his preachings and his philosophy, is one which, which talks of the equality between Tobago and Trinidad. And so politically, you can see where he is in that framework because he always says that Tobago was never conquered by Trinidad. Tobago was never ceded to Trinidad by treaty. Tobago was never occupied by Trinidad. Therefore, Tobago constitutionally is no less than Trinidad. So what you're seeing is a very Bago-centric focus on the part of Dr. Murray, seeing Tobago rising from where it's at to a point where it is on equal status with Trinidad. So we came up with um, uh, the anthem and then the flag. And it is now very important here. Tobago shall not secede, but Tobago needs its identity because of the great history. After secondary school, he attended Howard University and majored in Spanish and Latin American history. He then studied at the National University of Mexico before returning to Washington, D.C. and entering Georgetown University. Dr. Murray also taught at Howard University and Morgan State University and was a consultant to the U.S. Peace Corps in Guyana. In 1970, he worked in the Ministry of External Affairs of the Trinidad and Tobago government for a short period before returning to the U.S. Dr. Eric Williams would request his presence in Trinidad a second time and he returned in August 1971. But by the end of 1972, he had had enough. Murray's participation in parliamentary politics was relatively short, yet very eventful. As the member of parliament for Tobago West in 1980, he never hesitated to speak his mind and disagreements with other party members led to his expulsion from his party and to his exit from parliament. Is as I fought for Tobago in the party, they threw me out. And if Emily Robley, you have heard the name before, Emily Robley, the journalist who died, they kicked me out of the party, and um, they believed they would have um, conquered me, but they did not. And when I was thrown out of the party, around the same time, they kicked me out of parliament without pay, without a single cent. And as such, I had to, I had two daughters, Melita and Aisha, I had to fight to put bread on the table, really, and it was tough business. But his most famous political exploit would be the historic striking of the Tobago House of Assembly Act in 1980 under extremely strenuous circumstances. When we were discussing Tobago's right to self-determination, 
And when we reach now of bringing back the House of Assembly, Robinson and his pandy boys walked out and left me there now to carry the struggle, which Broom said it was done well. So for him now to come back and telling us that Tobago needs greater autonomy, he brought the President of the Republic in a program, another look. We're not taking that. The Tobago House of Assembly, I knew it, yes, that there was a Tobago House of Assembly, but to know the history is when I actually came here and uh, I began to look at newspaper clippings that Dr. Murray had. And uh, these clippings, one especially, it was dated the, se the 14th of September, 1980, and it read, Murray Gets His Way. Uh, this was written by John Babb. And it told of where Dr. Murray stood in Parliament after uh, Mr. Robinson and persons from the ULF walked out. And uh, he stood and fought for the Tobago House of Assembly and also for these persons to, they were able to get a salary, a proper salary, instead of just a stipend. Today, Dr. Murray concerns himself mostly with the Tobago Community College, which he founded and runs with his own resources, as he seeks to educate and empower young Tobagonians. He also envisages a University of Tobago becoming reality before long. As my grandfather said when he was, my mother was getting married, he said, Melita, your glorious morning come Ambakaila. This is Tobago's glorious morning. So all of the songs and things that are happening in Trinidad, it needs the intellect to charge, chart that course in the murky waters. This is our time. He is very tenacious. And if you watch the things that he has done over the years, particularly with the Tobago Community College, you will understand how tenacious he is. He has started this college and he has been fighting battles on all fronts to seek to reach to the dream that he has for it and for Tobago and for education, I, I might add, because anytime um, Winston Murray opens his mouth, it's the education he talks about. Apart from the politics, he talks about education. Such is the man, Dr. Winston Murray. Not only is he a messenger of history, but he's a creator of Tobago's history as well. Dr. Murray will not stand idly by and be subject to forces operating outside his native island. Rather, he is determined that Tobago's destiny be charted by Tobagonians themselves. We were considered to be a ward of Trinidad. We were just an aside of Trinidad. So nobody had any interest, but now that oil is found, there's greater interest in the island here. Tobago and Trinidad should be truly proud of this astonishing driven character. His time in Parliament might be over, but he continues to influence decision-making in Tobago through determination, education, and sheer bloody-mindedness. He is Dr. Winston Murray, a true hero of Tobago. Dr. Murray to us, you know, he's a father, he's a friend, you could talk to him about anything, and at the end of it, you are inspired to do better. Dr. Winston Murray is truly a man of the people, a man of Tobago, a man for an equal Tobago together with Trinidad. The world is moving towards oneness, but each unit in the world controls its own destiny. It gives what it wants, it takes what it wants that it can get. And this is where Tobago will have to fit in now.